So, la idea es que, que se escuche como si fuera en vivo, right? Um, now, I like to use, like most of you DJs probably use, you use the EQ on your mixer, right? So, for this, Studio One has the Pro EQ. So, the Pro EQ, it works exactly like your mixer, except it has a little bit, it's basically your mixer and the filter knob built in. So el Pro EQ funciona exactamente como si fuera el, el mixer de, de, de DJ y también el filtro. Aquí estamos usando el filtro. I'm using the filter here, the low cut filter. Um, I'm going to play this by itself. And this line here represents this knob right here. Esta línea representa este botón que está aquí. So it's like if I was doing it live, just gradually bringing in the, the filter. So if I play it by itself, so I just it's slowly bring it up, but I didn't start it. I didn't start it from the bottom. All the way from, I started kind of like already cutting at 150 hertz. The cool thing about this is I shut off up here, you see it's red. I shut off the EQ and I just turned it on wherever I want it. So the song here. So it automatically cut the bass, but when I play with the other one, so that filter cut to me, I, I love it. I'm addicted to it because it gives you that live feel, um, which you really want, especially like when you're doing this type of music. Um, I personally don't like to like cut the songs. I like to blend them because that's the way they're naturally supposed to be uh, mixed. And not only that, at that point, it gives me a little break so I can put my drop in or if I'm, you know, if I'm doing my radio show, I can talk. So it gives me a break right there. Uh, you could make that break as long as or short as you want. Um, I usually do like, you know, eight bars or 16 bars. Um, so right now, just me triggering back and forth, I'm triggering the view between the automation where you see the line and, and just the regular audio. And that's just with the letter A. It's really simple. Um, the cool thing about the software is any, any, any button that I want to manipulate. So cualquier botón que yo quiero manipular, Le doy el clic derecho y me da esta opción. That's how easy it is. Once I hit that, edit automation, it shows me the line. And then I can just draw the points in. So it's really easy um, to do automation with, with Studio One. Let's just keep going here, listen to a little bit more of, of the mix. <laughs> So here, I did the opposite. Here is like if I had the filter all the way down and I started mixing with the filter down and then I slowly started bringing it up. So I'm gonna solo it and you're gonna see. So right now the Pro EQ is cutting all the frequencies.
So you could do it the opposite way too, which is basically cutting all the highs and, and then slowly bringing them in. And, you know, I can use, this is the low, the high cut. So I can do it like that or I can take this pencil and I can draw it in like that or like this. So it gives you these really cool tools to be able to draw in. And basically what I'm drawing in right here, that's what the, this, this button is going to do right here. So that's how easy it is. If you want to like a, an aggressive curve, you can draw it one way or you want a slower slope, it's up to you. It's basically how, the same way you would do it live. So let's keep going here. So here in this song, let me just bring this one up so you can see what's going on here. Basically here, I started with no bass, and then here I'm cutting the bass at the same time. So this is kind of like the same way that you would do it live, like you start a song with no bass and you start bringing it in at the same time, you're, you're swapping the bass out. I'm doing the same exact thing here with, with the Pro EQs. So it has, it has basically, you know, it gives you that DJ feel when you're using the Pro EQ and the filter. Um, en este caso, estoy haciendo una mezcla como, como si lo fuera a hacer en vivo, donde la canción que está sonando, le estoy cortando el bajo, pero la que está entrando, la comencé sin bajo, y, y poquito a poco le voy haciendo el cambio de los bajos. So, en otros programas, este, este tipo de... de de mezcla y que se escucha así es un poco difícil para hacer. Uh, Studio One te da la habilidad de, de manipular estas frecuencias um, rápido y muy fácil para crear este tipo de mezcla. Para mí eso fue una de las cosas que, que me gustó um, usando, usando el Pro EQ. Uh, esta última, yo no estoy manipulando volumen. Quiere decir que aquí la canción está entrando con el volumen ya arriba. I'm not actually, the way this Pro EQ works, it works so good that I don't even have to like fade in the song with the volume. Like I'm bringing the song in with the volume already up, but as I'm cutting the frequencies, it, it gives it a nice mix. The song went in already. So as you see, like the EQ is just sweeping everything and you get a nice clean mix. So I, I didn't have to uh, come in here and, and fade in the song. And if I want to fade in, it's this easy. Like that. Si quiero hacerle la entrada del volumen, así de fácil lo puedo hacer. It has a lot of really good features and to me the Pro EQ is, is one of them. Now. It does have other effects. I mean, you have all these different effects. Uh, the beat delay is really cool. You have compressor. You have the reverb. You have my favorite effect, which is the, the extreme here, which gives you some really cool um, transforming effects or also the, the ping pong delay. It's really cool. And you can also, if you have plugins installed in your computer from other companies, like I have the Waves, um, it'll also read it too. So let me show you another project, another song. 
Any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta? Don't be shy. It's okay. Pregunten. All right. Um, this is a reggaeton one that I did. Reggaeton, I call it reggaeton pop. Um, so most of the, like some of these edits, I actually did in Studio One. You know, I, I exported them and then I did a mix with them. That's usually what I do. Um, you know, I do use other DJs edits too, um, but I like to use a lot of my own stuff. So, esta mezcla es una combinación de editajes míos y editajes de, de otros DJs. And I just put them together to do a nice, uh, you know, 12-minute mix. La nueva canción de Maná con Shakira. Reggaeton version. I mean, it's very simple, and really, if you look here, la canción, esta canción está 100, so this song is at 100 BPM, and this one is at 98, so it took both of them, and it's working at 98. Um, now, you, you hear this, it's a nice little sweep effect. So these are, this comes with Studio One. So if you just go up to your library, and put the word sweep, you get all these really cool um, effects, especially if you have the professional version, you get these down ones. Or if you want to go the opposite way, like the up. So that's part of, uh, of Studio One. And you just drag and drop. That's the cool thing about this. You drag and drop. Um, even the artist version has some of them. Uh, this is the pro, so I have all of them. Um, so depending on, if you put the word sweep, you'll see what comes up. Uh, I'm not sure what the artist versus this one brings. Um, because since I have all of them, you know, it, I know that uh, these ones down here, the... The, the Vengeance sound ones are like really kind of the, the best ones that I personally use a lot. You have some of these other ones. I think this one is, I use it a lot too. It's like, it's a little bit quicker. Um, and let's say you want to make this a little bit shorter or faster. You know, you want it to rise up. I can time stretch it. So now I just time stretch it so it, it's shorter and faster. So I can I can manipulate it. I can bring up it, the volume. You know, I can do basically. I can add effects to that. Like I I can add a delay. I can add a reverb. Um, yeah, this is uh, the clip volume. So this this only affects this specific one. If I go here, then I'm manipulating the track volume. So it's gonna. Uh, it's going to bring down the volume or up on everything that's on this track. One of the things I recommend when you're working in a DAW and a software is keep everything separate. I mean, the software gives you, like, I think it's 99 tracks is the, the amount. Um, so you don't need to pile up. Like, I, sometimes I, I see uh, DJs that show me their work, and they have, like, their DJ drop, their effect all in the same or they have even songs, like they'll just use two tracks and they'll go up and down, up and down, and, you know, keep everything separate. If you notice all the sessions that I open up, everything is separate, and I even have these three drops, which are part of the, I created a template, I'm going to show you how to do that, so that I don't even have to go look for the drop, I just drag them to where I want and place them. That way I can do mixes a lot faster. Um, I do... For my radio show, I do eight mixes a week um, now that I have Studio One. 
before I wasn't able to do that many. Um, so every time I open the software, I don't want to have to like drag in my drops or uh, I'm going to show you guys some uh, what we call the ducking effect so that the music goes down automatically when you put the drops. So uh, traten de, de, cuando están haciendo este tipo de, de mixeo, mantener todo separado para que así puedan trabajar cómodo y también puedan manipular todo separado. Porque si ponen todo en, en una a otra, dos canciones, vas a tener eh, problemas cuando vayas a hacer la mezcla.